What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is another build review for Team Lyra. They have built something quite nice. Haha, <laughs> let's just say it. Quite nice. And uh, really excited to show you guys this. It is called Statfelsen. Stotfelsen. Stot, Stotfels. Anyway. We are going to be looking over a castle town, and it is looking very nice. We're going to go ahead and do a quick flyby. We got some farms over here on this side, and it looks like we got a little town over there. It looks like it's separated into two portions. You got sort of a poor district and a richer district, and then you have the castle. And it uh, looks like you have a little river that flows all the way around, and it's sort of built on like an island in that they, they sort of make the isle or make the river should i say into a makeshift moat and uh very good use of a natural defense and uh yeah it looks really nice and i'm really excited about showing you guys this um i was actually exploring this not too long ago or for the past uh, 20 minutes or so and uh yeah i see a lot to, there's a lot to see and uh, a few things that i would like to uh, possibly show, put suggestions to improve on but other than that, there's a lot of cool stuff here, and I'm really looking forward to this. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty long review, so buckle in, guys. We're in for the long haul. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this. We're going to pretend that we are a weary traveler, and uh, we're just going to try to follow the path the best we can. And we're going to head down this road. Um, we're going to do a couple fly arounds. We're just going to bypass through here. Uh, we're not supposed to. Um, now we're going to walk over Farmer John's field. Hopefully he doesn't yell at us. We're just going to go check out Farmer John's windmill. And hopefully, yeah, we can get there. If we can get through all these bees, my goodness. Um, but anyway, this is the windmill that they have decided. We're going to go for a little flyby, so fly on. There we go. Um, this here is the windmill that uh, they have built. It's a very simple design. Looks very neat. Uh, very nice, I think. And the fan is very interesting. Um, I like that design, and it might, yeah, I like it. I like the design. I like the design. And uh, let's go ahead and head in here. Um, let's see. Okay, so the grindstone is up here, it looks like. Okay, well then that makes sense. And they have the mechanism in here. It looks very interesting. And it looks like this would turn just, you know, around, and then they would put the uh, grain in there or whatever, and then that would make the grain or make the whatever windmills make grain i think that's what it's and it's raining <sighs> single player commands i don't have any single player commands anyway we are just going to pretend that it is raining and uh we're just going to do this anyway so let's keep walking through and see what's going on we're just going to walk through the field again actually we're just going to fly out of the field no, no, we're not. let's go ahead and follow this road down so when i was looking through this there's that, that's another really weird thing with this uh, shader pack, is it has that, no matter what, all surfaces have that uh, that shimmer. I haven't noticed that before today, so I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, I noticed there's a few things in here that I would like to talk about, uh, but we aren't to the talk about stage yet. Um, first of all, this wall, um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice wall, it's a nice wall. We're gonna get over that, there we go. Uh, it's a nice wall. It's very, it's maybe a little bit overly detailed in some portions, but um, yeah. And oh yeah, this is a big thing that I noticed is this uh, portcullis here. It's not very defensible. So you only have two high here and three and one up there. So basically, this gate would only be this tall. Nah, 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 nah. And one and two. And that would be how tall the gate is. So, um, I don't know if that was an overlook or if there's supposed to be like retracting booms in it or something, retracting rods. Uh, I don't know, but that's something that I feel that was overlooked and uh, possibly could be improved upon on future builds. So, um, that's a big thing about me. I like to have my gates work. That's why my gatehouses are usually these ginormous, magnificently unnecessarily large gates or uh, things structures <laughs> anyway we're gonna keep moving through this and um, so we are a very curious why is the ground shimmering oh my goodness 
It doesn't shimmer in here. Good. So, um, yeah, we got some fairly nice interiors. They have very nice interiors. I like it. And it looks like this, this build was done pretty quickly because it looks like they have all of the 9.3, 9.4 metadatas in here. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, I don't know how long it takes these lives. This, this build team is very productive, and that's what I really like about them. Uh, they produce a lot of really good stuff, and um, yeah, so to you, to you, the Libra build team, um, cheers, and I, you will continue to have my support um, as long as you produce some awesome stuff. So I will, I just, I love doing these build reviews. It's just, you know, these, these are awesome. Um, by the way, guys, if you guys want to go check out this um, this build, uh, go over to Planet Minecraft. Actually, all the links will be in the description below, but you can actually explore this map for yourself. So I'm not going to explore everything. I'm just going to do highlights of it and try to go around. Sorry for that noise in the background. That is my air conditioning. Um, it's a little loud, I know, but uh, hopefully we can look past that and continue through. So this is the... Uh, the, um, what was I going to say? So, uh, so yes, this is something that's interesting. Um, I was really curious, like, uh, for the builds. Like, this is a trap door that doesn't hang on anything. And this is created by the Everything on Everything plugin. However, if you place anything next to it, that's when it explodes. So, you can't place it black in single that uh, back in single player. So, um, that is a downfall. So, now I know that for when I, uh, upload my map for a download um, so that I know that that uh, all the, the trap doors will stay where they are and uh, there's also some other things that Team Liar does that I really want to know how they do is that those links to the, uh, the conquest resource pack and such that would be or that is some cool stuff there um, some other things because I have not produced a download yet and I um, I like I would consider myself an amateur in that regard but I will have help when it time comes but uh, Sea Bridge is a long ways off, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Anyway, we're walking out of the poor district now. Um, yes, this is the poor district that we are in. It looks like they have one larger house there. I don't know what this house is. Let's go in and check this out. Looks like this is a tavern or a little place to sleep. You know, some bedding. Yeah, it's a tavern or an inn. Um, tavern is a place where you would go just to eat, whereas an inn is a place where uh, it would be like a bed and breakfast. So that is the difference. So this is an inn because it has rooms up here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. And um, also another cool thing that you guys can do is use these trap doors for walls like that. And uh, yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, we're not going to go up the next stair. We're going to go right back down into the tavern floors and we're going to head out. Lovely. And now we're going to head across this bridge here. And this is actually leading us into the main portion of the town slash city thingamagummy. Um, this bridge leads over the river that heads all the way around the entire uh, middle central thingamajigger island that holds the main portion of the town and the castles. That full spell stun. I don't know. But uh, whatever the name of the town is, um, or however you pronounce it, that is what it's called, and cool. So it looks like this This is another really cool idea they have, is these, this looks like a um, a place that you, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, 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 a john, or uh, the place where you go poo. That looks like what, that's what that is, and uh, represented by the flies and the hardened clay down there, or the uh, nether, nether soul sand, that's what it is down there um but yeah that's what i think it is and uh that is a cool idea where it just they just kind of dump it into the river um you probably had to get a broom down there to sweep it out but anyway here's another one right here so some stinky spots we'll call them stinky spots for now um looks like this here is a, another little house a little place to live uh, i'll head up here oh yeah this is nice interior that's another thing that i like about lyra is they have um very very much above average interiors and uh, they really put their heart heart and souls into their builds and you can tell and it's uh, beautiful really really nice I love the lush terrain and the atmosphere that is provided in this build it's very fantastical see what I did there fantastic fantasy ha ha I make myself laugh anyway we're gonna move on from that this here is not sure oh I like this little park area um 
the main thing that I want to encourage you guys is to, there is a little thing down at the bottom that will, but there's nothing down there. Um, I do want to encourage you guys to download this map and check it out. That not only gives the Team Lyra more experience on Planet Minecraft, but it also gives you the chance to enjoy it much more. And it's still raining, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to see on this map. A lot of cool things and a lot of like little trails and uh, there's probably a lot of secrets around. Like, I probably haven't even scratched the surface on everything that's on this build, or in this build, so, um, I mean, I have looked around and everything, I have, you know, uh, I have definitely done my share of exploring, but there's just, there's so much more in this build, uh, that, you know, so much more than what I can put onto a video, because, first of all, I didn't build it, so... I'm not going to know where all the secrets are, but I can just sort of explore it and enjoy it. So if you guys want to take a break from building or whatever, I would encourage you to check this out. And this is actually one of my favorite parts here, where you come across the bridge. Well, um, first of all here. Okay, this is my first thing um, that I want to say, or my second, third. I don't know what this is. But anyway, you see how the floor here, It's you have the uh, stone slabs. Um, that is nice. However, I don't like how it's done. I feel that... Uh, when it's ground floor, especially in the medieval times, it would be more or less, um, you know, cobblestone or dirt and gravel, uh, like a mixture. And uh, because, you know, when it's ground floor, you know, they don't really make the foundations like this. It's at least that I know. Um, also, in, I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't really have the feel. Uh, like, it doesn't feel like medieval-ish like I feel like if you walked into here and this was all dirt and gravel you'd have like a different feel and it'd make it feel more I don't know more uh, homely I guess I don't know what the word I'm looking for um, but yeah I just feel that if you had that mixture it would look nicer but it does give that sort of like a well-to-do um, uh, feeling behind it and uh, that's I guess that's what they're going for is the uh, you know they're fairly rich here um, but anyway, um, I'm alluding the point. But this is the, the bridge across here is really cool. This is like a like a little like a personal bridge where peasants and stuff and people would walk over. And then this would be like a like on sea bridge. I have like a tax collector. This is like I would presume is something of a similar similar nature where they would come in through here and like pass like coins to the window and um, you know that's where they would pay their taxes or something. That's just my uh, or maybe like it's a little guard shack or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it is pretty cool And now we're gonna head up this way We're gonna head over to the castle because the castle is one of my favorite potions. That's an interesting idea. I haven't I Haven't thought of that. I Think I have thought of that. I just haven't thought of just doing that. I don't know why um, How they have you know the bench kind of just sitting there in the wall It's a cool idea um, also, another thing I really like about this is how, you know, it's, it looks, it feels like there's an intricate system of drains and uh, sewers through this town. That's something I really like. You, like, you feel this goes, you know it goes somewhere, you know, I just, I just don't feel like exploring it because, you know, it's just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it goes somewhere because uh, Lyra is definitely, you know, they keep up with the details and they do they do well in that regard. Uh, anyway, we're going to go up to this castle. We've got to find that little staircase that I had found. Here it is. And this is actually the main gate, I think, into the castle here. Um, but this is like the castle courtyard. You have a blacksmith here. This is where they would make all the weapons and uh, repair all the weapons. And typically, a blacksmith wouldn't be all weapons, however. It would be horseshoes. And that would be another cool metadata, having like a horseshoe metadata or something of that regard. I don't even know what you... Hmm, you could put it in stables. You could put it in a blacksmith. I don't know what other things you could use horseshoes for, but anywho's, we're gonna just move on from that because I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, got ourselves a interesting interior here. I don't think I've seen this kind of thing before, but that's interesting. Uh, I like that, very nice. What is this? What is this? Ah, it's a little like loft area. All right, well, cool, cool, cool. Um, we're gonna head back out there. I'm not going to explore all that, just, you know, give you the idea. And another interesting thing is there is this, like, back thing here that leads down into another thing, which is called the dungeon. And this is another thing that I wanted to talk about, is see how the ceiling is completely flat here? 
Um, typically a ceiling, um, since this is a download and it's not the official build, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And then why is there glass up there? What the heck? Oh, there's water up there. And there's not. I don't know. Um, but what I would have done, in my personal opinion, I would have taken some cobblestone. Do, 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 and do. And then, again, these are insignificant little things. I mean, it's just like little bits of detail that, you know, could have been added. But it, in all reality, it doesn't really matter. But it's just something that I think would be interesting. But anyway, having little bits of bits like that, um, this goes over one more, so it would have to be like this instead. And then have one up there, have that too wide, and then that. So there we go. Now that's like a domed roof. Um, and then you would, eh, that looks fine. Eh, it'll do. So that's just all I had to say about this, is just having little bits of, you know, having the roofs domed, like if you have it flat like this, um, I don't even think they could build it flat like that. I think it would just collapse on them. But uh, yeah, that's something that looks like a chopping block and there's a head. Poor Tom. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving on and this is the dungeon area. Uh, looks like they had little little poopers in the corner there. Very cool. Um, this is a portion that I don't quite understand. I came down here and I was I was trying to figure out what this is. It looks like a. Um, I'm just gonna destroy this so I can walk through it. But it looks like it is a water reserve or a reserve reservoir of water. But then again, it goes down here. So where does it come from? What is the source? So that's what I want to know. So we're just going to follow this this way. We got some glowstone down here, no problem. Just for that invisible lighting effect. Ugh. Here we go, we're going to come over here. Where does the water come from? I never found out. Looks like it doesn't come from anywhere. That is another thing. I, I didn't explore any further than that. I thought it did come from somewhere, but that is another thing. Um, this water wouldn't just spawn here. It'd have to come from somewhere, which is another difficult thing. But it is for aesthetics. You know, that is understandable. I'm not going to replace that because okay, this is a download. It's not the official build. Um, but yeah, this is uh, that reservoir down there. It's, it's a cool, it's a cool idea. You know, it has that aesthetic feel. You know, you feel like, oh, that is really cool. But yeah, it needs to spawn from somewhere. Um, but anyway, this is another entrance into the city, and this is actually the entrance into the castle from down low. However, I'm not sure how I feel about um, having the dungeons like this. It's just, it's a little bit of an odd placement for me, at least, but it's interesting. You know, it's, it's protected, you have the portcullis, and then again, the portcullis is not usable. You don't even have, you don't have a mechanism to open or close it. And another thing I noticed... I'm noticing a lot of things, but it doesn't matter. It's a great build. I love the build. <laughs> now, another thing I did not um, do is I did not explore the castle very much at all. So this is actually going to surprise me as much as it's going to surprise you. So, I mean, I did come in the Great Hall, so I will admit that. I did come in here. I checked around. Um, I do like the Great Hall. It looks very nice. Uh, they have the candle stands on the side and on the walls and everything, so it's very nice. Very well lit, and it looks like they put the furnaces up here. No, they did not. Okay, how do they get the lighting in here? That's my question. How do they get the lighting, 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 lighting? It has to be under these carpets. No, it's not. Wait, are they able to do lighting through... No, they can't. Where does the light come from? I must know. I must know. No. I feel like I'm destroying this whole build looking for the light source. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, nah. Where does the light come from? Oh, this is gonna kill. This is gonna kill me. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Where does light come from? Where? 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 There has to come from somewhere. Maybe it comes from up here? Uh, we got grass up there. And then my AC is back on. Um, I have not the slightest clue where the light come from, comes from. So, uh, Lyra, I have destroyed half of your 
great haul here, and I am puzzled. I have not the slightest clue. Is it an invisible block somehow? No, I don't see any invisible blocks. What the heck? This is puzzlement for me. Because it can't come from these. They're brewing stands. Brewing stands don't produce light. Okay, anyway. We're all going to go off of that subject, and we're going to continue moving through the castle. So this is the kitchen, it looks like. And they have the elevator going up. See, Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Having the... Maybe this is the same thing in the actual main chamber. Come on, where? <clears throat> How do we get out of here? Uh, nope. Nope. This way? Ah, there we go. Alright, so maybe... No, I don't see any glowstone. Okay, I, I give up. I give up. Lyra, you have dumbfounded me. Um, we got a f fireplace there. Okay, we got one fireplace. That's fine. Cool. And we got some more storage up here. Nice. Um, we're actually going to head up this other way over here. As I walk through the destroyed remains of what happened. This is what happens when... Dukan comes through your build. I just destroy everything. No, that really isn't how it happens. Usually, I just don't understand. Where does the light come from? Um, so we're gonna head this way, and we're gonna head up this stairs here. Oh, what's this? Looks like a little uh, study area. That's cool. I like that. Um, yeah. Bedroom maybe? No, treasury. Looks like a treasury. Okay, very small treasury. But that's actually a realistic treasury, you know, that's not space to be- Ooh, nice. This looks like the dining hall. And this is actually something I want to do in my castles, is it's very, very spacious. You know, you feel like there could be, you know, lots of people sitting around, and, you know, it looks like a place where they could all just mingle or whatever. My one in Quartier was pretty spacious, however, it didn't have, like, all this open space everywhere. Uh, that's one of my downfalls, is I always tend to cramp things together too much, and, uh... Yeah. Okay, looks like another pooper there. Nice. Um, we're gonna head up this way. And what the heck? There we go. Uh, what is this map thing? Cartographer? Uh, okay. 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 Now again, I'm not going to explore the whole thing. I'm just going to very lightly touch up on things. And if you guys want to see it for yourself, again, go check out the link to Lyra's PMC below, down below in the description and uh, download the map for yourself and check it out. Um, they have a YouTube channel. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. Yes, go subscribe to them. Go give them a turn that gray subscribe button into a red, or no, that red subscribe button into a gray subscribe button. That will definitely help them out. And uh, that's, you know, that's ultimately what I want to do. I want you guys what the heck? I am lost. Okay, we're gonna keep going up this way. Haha! -ha. So we are still the aimless wanderer wandering through the castle. It seems like no one's here. Looks like we have another kitchen up here or something. Um, little fireplaces, little stuff. Now I want to see another thing that I want to check out is chimneys. Okay, the rookeries up here. Got a lot of bird cages, but there's no windows to throw the birds. Okay, there's a window there. Um, okay, so we're going to destroy our way through there. Sorry, just destroyed another hole. Alright, chimneys, 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 chimneys. Um, that isn't enough chimneys to... There's only one chimney in the castle, and I definitely saw more fireplaces than that. That's another thing. All fireplaces need to go to chimneys. But I'm going to make just a quick look just to make sure... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just one one big chimney over here. I'm guessing that's to the main kitchen chimney. Um, so yeah, that is another thing that I would suggest is, you know, I, it's just these little bits of. Oh my goodness! I will be right back. And I am back. If you live anywhere near Nvidia's headquarters, um, if you would do a favor for me, just like go um, dot 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 mute this portion. Beep. Okay. Anyway. 
Um, yeah, I had another NVIDIA crash, and yeah, so I am... <laughs> I've been having a lot of NVIDIA crashes. It's supposed to be an update, however, it has not updated. Uh, there is no update available. I'm still on 350.12. Uh, I have a GeForce... No, yes. I have an MSI 970... MSI GTX 970 4 gigabyte. And uh, the card's been good for me. I mean, it does this. I get pretty fairly good FPS out of it. And uh, beautiful, beautiful graphics. However, and there's snow everywhere. However, the uh, issue is that uh, it crashes a lot. And what I have to do in order to fix it um, is I need to reinstall my graphics drivers every single time. And it takes, it's like, I, re I feel like I'm reinstalling graphics drivers every two to three days. And it's really getting old. So if any of you have like a specific fix that I could you do for it, or if you have the same problem, um, if you could help me mount a revolution against it, no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, we just need to figure out something, or NVIDIA needs to figure out something, and it would be awesome if we could get this fixed so I didn't have this. There it is again. Be right back. Urgh, this is just about enough to drive me nuts. But anyway, um, yes. So before an NVIDIA decides to crash on me yet again, which is definitely going to do since I'm already on that streak. Um, I just want to say uh, congratulations uh, Team Wire. You guys are awesome. You guys are doing real well. I really hope to see some more awesome stuff from you and um, and every one of you subscribers, all 770 of you, all 770 of you, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's been awesome. This has been an awesome, uh, awesome day for me at least. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of support. I had a good stream today and uh, yeah, a lot of awesome stuff. So Team Lyra, go support them. Uh, diamond them on PMC. Subscribe to them on PMC. Subscribe to them on YouTube. And uh, yeah, definitely keep them um, in your channel feeds. And check them out. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. Uh, little things here and there that need to be fixed or improved on future, but uh, very nice. So until next time, but before the next time, subscribe. Yes, subscribe down below. There's that little subscribe button. Click it. Click it. What? It's like two seconds. Click. Oh! And I am back for another 20 seconds. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys back soon. Uh, definitely enjoy this video. Please like, please comment, um, and there's lots more cool stuff to come. So uh, really looking forward to next time. So until then, bye bye Darn you, NVIDIA.